Whale meat. Here we are. Center of the empire. Man at his desk. Ruling over Vegas. Sort of. <clears throat> I mean, House is technically still in charge, but uh, I'm his right-hand man. Things are looking good. So, um, yeah, we uh, got a lot of our memories back. That's certainly a step in the right direction. And, you know, I didn't want to say some things in front of Willow, of course. Like, uh, I do now remember where Sydney is. She is back at my house in California. <coughs> so what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to get a message to her. Because the way things are right now, with the opportunity here and the upheaval, I can't go to California to go get her. So I'm going to need to send a, a letter or something to her. Get her to get her butt out here. Her cute little butt. Because, you know, me, I do remember now that we did finally get romantic. <clears throat> Took a while. But, uh, we finally, uh, one night, after a particularly good paying job, a little bit of drunken revelry, ended up in bed together. And since then, it's been, uh, you know, sort of a... You know, she's like me. She, uh, she knows when I'm on the road, I'm gonna... I'm gonna find myself another woman, and... I know the same about her, and that's fine. But, uh, you know, we always know we're going to come back to each other. Willow, on the other hand, is probably not quite as open-minded, so I'm not going to be telling her too much about Sydney. Not yet, anyways. But I do want Sydney here with me in the Mojave, and uh, I can put her up at my suite over at Gamora. Be uh, right up her alley, anyways. So, since I can't leave, I'm going to need to go hire another courier to, to get a message to California for me. So that's going to be one of our first priorities today. The other thing we need to do is we need to go over to the Gamora and pick up all of our stuff. Bring it back here. We'll be much more secure here with my army of followers and... Securitrons outside. I mean, not that the Gamora is not safe, but, uh, you know. Want to make sure. And, uh, the other thing is. One of the other things I remembered is that to track down that other courier, I know I'm going to need. I need to go through others, and the chip gave me a a bit of premonition that uh, someone that Veronica knows is going to be the key to me finding that other courier. So for now, I'm going to leave Willow and JT here, and I'm going to take Veronica out with us. <coughs> Start getting friendly with her. Aww. So, with all that said, let's first uh, head over to the Gamora, pick up our stuff, and then we're going to need to head over to the Mojave Express and hire a courier. Where to, partner? Get the hell out of here. Casino floor. Sure is. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? I sure am. I'm a cool guy. Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Hey, wait a minute. Technology. You're How the one that alive? helped Benny reprogram Yes Man, no aren't you? Allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. I am in the know. Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. Well, I personally wouldn't mind finding that out myself. We try to help, many of whom suffer from hard to diagnose illnesses. Mm, yes, Dr. Solomon diagnoses a terminally low discussion of caps in this conversation. Ah, I see. 
I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. Excellent. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. Whose packet are you asking me to sniff? Encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Well, I mean, I guess we can give that a shot. Do, do, do. Yeah, there was that access point up in the uh, lounge. We found it before. Up here. Plug that guy right in. Quick and easy. Just the way I like it. Now, Miss Ortal, give me stuff. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Yep. Good to hear. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get through eventually, just not today. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. Well, now the followers like me. Oh, hi. Thanks again for helping us with that data. I mean, the feed only lasted about 30 seconds, and it's not that useful, but... Well, we tried. We were connected for half a minute, and received enough data to fill five holodisks. It looked like nonsense at first, but we decoded it. It was all biometric data, life signs from Mr. House. The technology he's using is so advanced that it samples data hundreds of times per second. It's fascinating, but depressing. Whatever technology he has can't possibly be practical for the people out here. About five years now, I have family back in Arroyo. But this is where all the good work is being done, so to speak. NCR taxes and inflation have been hard for a lot of people to deal with. And most of the money is... Yeah, they're a corrupt money. mess. There's not much funding for medical research with OSI or any other group. Not unless it has a military application, anyway. I'm interested in medicine, but it's not my strong suit. I try to help out with any computer issues the followers have. That's why I was helping out with the research into Mr. House's technology. Trying to, anyway. After two tries, I think I've learned enough. I'm sure there's something more promising I could be helping the other followers with. Uh, oh yeah. I didn't tell you about the first time. I'd rather not talk about it if you don't mind. But that's exactly what I want to talk about. True. All right. The first try was a little less professional. Someone important on the Strip had access to some of House's technology. Specifically, a Securitron. And more specifically, the someone was Benny. I know, I know. He shot you in the head and everything. But this was a while ago. I knew he was sleazy, but I didn't realize he was so cold-blooded. Ugh, so gross. It was bad enough that I didn't get any data out of the Securitron. This is why I didn't want to talk about it. It only happened once. I chalk it up to sleep deprivation and one atomic cocktail. I don't know, I kind of think, uh, you might be batting above your weight with Benny. You're, uh, not exactly a prize. He sure didn't. Benny was pretty tight-lipped and cryptic about the thing. But he did let I don't me know, poke maybe you fixed your hair up. Looks pretty I awful. I wound up helping Benny a lot more than he helped me. Once he had access to the Securitron's memory banks, he kicked me out of the tops. Big surprise, right? Should have seen that coming. The Securitron was disabled somehow. No, I meant what, you, <coughs> what did he have you do in bed? Damage I saw. Anyway, he wanted it re-enabled and connected to Mr. Just out of House professional curiosity. Network. The trick was getting it to be invisible on the network. If Mr. House detects a rogue Securitron in his system, he remotely fries it. Getting around that security feature was a bit tricky. Yeah, strange as it sounds, I figured that badmouthing one of the Strip's most powerful people wasn't a good idea. Mm, worked out for me. I'm telling you any of this is because he's gone now. What do you want to know? Alright. Thanks again for...
Thanks again for helping with Mr. House's data network. Come see me at the old Mormon fort if you get a chance. Well, I mean, like I said, if you fix your hair up, maybe I'll come see you. <coughs> I do like a girl with glasses. Oh, wait. I was supposed to go to the, uh, Gamora. Got all sidetracked there. Okay, so let's uh, head up to my suite at the Gamora Casino. Hey, no one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns in Yeah, yeah, whatever. You'll get the... Dum -de dum dum All right, so I believe my hotel room is over here. And I believe the game's crashed. All right, here we are in my beautiful suite at the Gamora. And it is pretty damn nice, even though I have these male strippers, unfortunately. Male prostitutes, whatever. But I've got some female ones over here. Looking for a good time? Yeah. Yeah, I am. What do you need? Mm, you. Bye. Nice outfit, by the way. All right, well, uh, let's see. I know I stashed my stuff in here somewhere. Oh, look at that, a camera and a girly mag. Good stuff. So got a little pool table. Got another stripper over here. Hey, big guy. Looking for a good time? Some weird skull stuff over here. My little kitchen area. Got my own private bar with a bartender. Hey there, can I get you a drink? Maybe a party favor? Tell me more about party favors. Here you go. Hmm. Hmm, a cigar. Add one of those to my collection. Let's see. Oh yeah, you get drugs. Yeah, give me drugs. Thanks, big guy. Give me a shot if you. All right. Most likely, I stashed my stuff in my bedroom, which must be on this side. <clears throat> Yeah, here we go. Mm, I've got three beds in here. <laughs> this is a nice little toilet area. There's my shit. <coughs> ah, beautiful caps. Alright. Well, that's what I came for. Head back on out of here. Bring this stuff over to my home. My new home. My better home. Even though it doesn't have prostitutes, unfortunately. But it is much more spacious and palatial and uh, secure. And I've got a uh, beautiful lady up there anyways. Even if she's not a prostitute. Where to, partner? Yeah, let me in, Victor. Alright. So, meat. <coughs> let's, uh... Let's put all this stuff away. I don't need to be carrying it all, but... We'll, of course, keep the good stuff. Uh, yeah, so... What do we got here? 
let's see, that's weapons, wardrobe. That's the t toy collector box, this wardrobe. I'll use the empty wardrobe to put stuff in, like clothes and stuff. Like, I don't really need to carry around this beret, actually. You get my armor repaired is what I need to do. Take all that stuff? Seems to be missing some of it. I didn't get all of it. I'm not quite sure what happened. Hmm. Let's How are you? see. Damn it, that is not the right way. I'm all confused. why I didn't get all my stuff. Hey, no one but a... Yeah, yeah, great. Business is good. All the family's got money. Of course, the more is what he actually is. It's all still in here. Take it all manually. Okay. Now we're rocking. Yeah, I got all my caps. I'm rich again. Now, let's try this again. Bosses don't like no trouble in their place. Yeah, bosses usually don't. are stupid like that. Trouble's fun. Where to, partner? Let me up. Stupid robot. Okay.
<coughs> now. Hmm. Hey, Willow. Did you see that? I did not. Why don't you look at me when I'm talking to you? You do? A present? I love presents. Yeah, pretty awesome. Of course I do. Thank you. Okay, so, my wardrobe. Actually, hang on to those. Let's see, do I need buttons wig? Not really. keep those for disguise purposes at some point. Um, don't need that really. Right, so that's all of our outfits. Hey, Veronica, you're a Brotherhood person. You me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Why don't you put some fucking power armor on? There you go. Good job. Sell that. Ah, let's see. Well, why don't I give uh, I'm gonna give Veronica one of these. Probably good with energy weapons. That away, hang on to that. Put most of those away. All those away. Keep that, put that away. Um <coughs> sell it. Yeah, take that out. Alright, 
what else might we want to take out from my old stuff? Uh, I think the new one I have is better. Yeah, that's probably about it. Now, let's see. This desk is not usable, apparently. Need to find a place to stash some of my other stuff. this desk usable? Nope. And what? How about this? And I don't think I remember it there. Alright, well, let's go downstairs to the kitchen and we'll put uh, Arcade, what the hell are you doing up here? You're supposed to be in the medical area. This cabinet we will use for our cigarettes. this crap away. place to stash like all my books and stuff. Not here. Maybe over in the medical area will be a good spot. <coughs> Actually, I don't know if there's really any storage over here. That's these cabinets. but that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense now, does it? Alright, I guess we'll put them in the work area. Guess in one of these lockers is going to have to do. Think of it like our school locker. Excellent. And then in the uh, workbench locker, I put 
all this crap. seem to have a lot of shit on me. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to pause the video here for a minute. We're going to uh, do a little bit of decoration around the place and then we'll we'll come back and see how it goes. All right. <coughs> so we're back. Dropped off a couple of our garden gnomes, just regular garden gnomes of course, but I added them into the area with the uh, drunken gnomes. Also uh, put another picture of the king over here. <coughs> and a couple, uh, a couple of pinup pictures here and there. Uh, one's there. Oh yeah, the other one's in the bathroom. And there we go. So, uh, with all that done, I think we are just about done up in here. So we're gonna get back on the road. Let's take a little quick nap first. Head out at daybreak. All right. Too, partner. Let me out, you stupid robot. Casino floor. Okay, so first stop, now that I'm rich again, gun runners. Get everything my heart desires. Welcome, sir. Or right, I do. Though first, I'm going to sell you some stuff. Okay, now we need to start buying stuff. Now, what do you get that I might want? <laughs> I don't really know what an anti-material rifle is, but uh, let's buy one. Because, you know, why not? Esther. That appears to be a fat boy. A special fat boy. Plus 10 DT. That's weird. So it basically is a fat man that is less likely to kill you, apparently, somehow. Well, I do need to buy the special shish kebab. I'm not sure what's different about it, but I want it. Medicine stick. No, I don't need that. I guess I need that. Since I just bought one. The Fat Man Little Boy Kit. That's cute. Already got that. I don't. I think I already do have that. Hunting rifle, hunting rifle, hunting shotgun. Plasma rifle, magazine accelerator. I don't really use those. Oops, went a little too far there. Service rifle, no, 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 no. Okay, now might as well buy out whatever uh, ammo they get that I might want. Take that. Take that. 
take that. That, 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 that. Um, sure. I don't really know what that's for, but we'll take it anyways. Okay, now what else can you can I sail you? One of them. That about will do it. Okay. <coughs> Thanks, champ. Oh, I suppose I could uh, hit up that energy weapon store too. Might have some interesting stuff in there. Even though energy weapons aren't really my thing. I have been getting better with them. If it can be bought, it can be found in... If it can be shot, I will put a bullet in your skull, kid. That doesn't really make sense, but um, you get the general idea. Hungry? Thirsty? Horny? Yes, yes, and yes. Okay. All right. This is the energy weapon store. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons. You clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Thanks, thug. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Mr. Soren, please get to the point. Hmm. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know oh, why. That looks kinky. He is uh, clearly getting ready for some super mutant butt sex. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Oh, Never break well, that's fun. Van Graffs, Mr. It's not every day you get to see murder. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Cool. Well, you sure do have a lot of stuff in here. Oh, sure, I'll take your dead man's bottle caps. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Of course. All right, what do you got, lady? Uh, a flamer of some kind, lame. Uh, sure, I'll take one of these. If I'm going to use a pistol, a plasma pistol is the way to go, I think. An energy pistol, that is. But the regular plasma pistol is too goofy looking. What is this thing? No, I don't know, but I feel like I should buy them while I have the chance. Ooh, they're expensive. Do I even have enough money to, or enough stuff to sell to offset that? Let's find out. That's a lot of money.
Wait, you won't buy any of my weapons? Oh, because they took all my weapons. Right. Hmm. Well. Eh, what the hell. Alright, what else you get? Yeah, we just bought some. Don't mind me. And there we go. All right, what do you get that's valuable? Need to make some of my money back. Take it all. Only I had a way to get it all off the table quickly and efficiently, but I don't. You people are stupid. Don't worry, I'm just throwing your stuff around. Totally not planning to steal it, I'm just throwing it. <coughs> no worries at all. And you know, throwing grenades around is always a good idea. Alright, now I'm going to sell you all your stuff back. Welcome to the Silver Rush. Tell me. There, at least I got some of my money back. You got a problem. I'll solve it. enough of all that. Oh yeah, you. You know, I've been thinking. The real problem with the Brotherhood is that we isolate ourselves. 
Our training is top notch, our technology gives us an advantage, but when it all comes down to it, we're losing because we shun the outside world. Or because we you're losers. Enemies, never allied. We refuse to recruit outsiders or see the value in their simpler technologies. I don't know. I'm still thinking about what kind of role we could take on that would give us the best chance of survival. But I think things are starting to come together. I know the odds aren't good, but I gotta try. I can't lose them. If you say so. Here, uh, I'm gonna give you... you carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? I'm gonna give you some cool weapon to carry. Like that plasma caster. It's a shitty condition, though. That's the other one. Yeah, I'll give you that one for now. 3216, this one does 33. Hmm. If it was in better condition, it might be way better. Yep, yeah, I'll give you this one for now. And I suppose I'll need to give you some ammo for it. Okay. Got a nifty little plasma gun. It carries a lot of ammo. Lasers, pew pew pew. Alright, shut up. I've got other things to do with my newfound wealth. To the clinic. I need to cure my STDs. I mean... I need to turn myself into a cyborg. Hey. Hello, doctor lady. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Sort of. You really ought to avoid using those kinds of chems, but I'll see what I can do. <sighs> yeah, right. All right. Sit still and let me work. You're back. Do you need medical attention? You realize you're eating on a plate that's floating in air, right? All right. All right. For four... Have a seat in the auto dock. This... Yay. I'm now smarter because of an implant. But that's not you... all. You... All right. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. Nifty. The implant is very expensive, however. 12,000 caps. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. You're back. Oops. That would be the Nemian Subdermal Armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps, but the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. Sounds good. It won't good. make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. All right. Well, now I'm an awesome cyborg. I do need to get my stuff repaired. Can this robot over here do that? Can I help you? Welcome, sir. Nope. Uh, let's try making Ralphs. Apparently, if it can be bought, you can buy it. Be bought at Making Ralphs. That's what somebody told me. I don't remember who. So hopefully, that means stuff can also be repaired there.
Hey, fuck face. Hey, what can I get you? How about your buddy? Welcome to Mick and Ralph's. Sure. There we go. <clears throat> Excellent. Uh, what else? Anything else I want you to repair for me? This is a ten grand. No thanks. You can repair my hat. Right. Let's get on out of here. To trim. No, not the highway patrol. Prim. There we go. You, old man. Hey there, youngster. I need to send a uh, courier to California, Shady Sands. You're going to Solomon and Sydney's house. Just, uh, you know, they'll know who you're talking about when you get there. Send this letter. It's addressed to Sydney. I'm Solomon. Here's the caps. Get it done. Can't believe you don't remember me. The one who hired me for this goddamn company you didn't remember me. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye, whatever. Stupid fucker. Alright, what else might like you what else might you like to see? I mean you said you're um you're kinda interested in seeing the different factions and how they're how they're working out here, so I'll take a look at the Legion. Sure. Hey, you got a second? The Brotherhood is great. I've always known that. If we don't change the force, we're going to fall apart. Wait a minute. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. Alright. Great. Thanks. Thank you. I'll encourage people to gain their non appreciated action. Soon. Oh, they're not gonna name their ugly children after me. Have you seen me? I'm a handsome devil. Man, that shit's too loud. While I'm in the area, it's supposed to be that. Uh... Oh, wait, maybe not. Is that, uh, yeah, I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah, we'll go this way. Try out this plasma gun. Hi hey guys. Whoops. You sure don't like that green shit, do you? Still, I don't I just don't know if it's my style.
Let's try this for shits and giggles, though. Though you aren't of the Legion, you've aided us more than once. We acquire many items on our raids, some useless to us, some forbidden. I've provided you the location of a drop box where you can obtain these items. The box will be replenished every few days. Please be aware that we'll assume any items left in the box will be unwanted and be removed and destroyed. All right. Stay an ally of the Legion, and we will share our loot with you. If you start working against us or become an enemy, our deal ends. Cool. I like Good stuff. Advisor. I've always wanted to kill a bloat fly with a Gatling laser. Seems as good a time as any to start. Yep. Yeah, let's see how this goofy thing works. It looks like a sex toy. A very painful sex toy, but a sex toy nonetheless. Seems to shoot out big things of plasma. Come on, nobody to kill around here? Correctional facility? Yeah, I guess it is. <coughs> no, we don't want to go over there. They don't like us very much. Here we go. Oh, yeah, that killed you real good. This idiot's throwing dynamite at me. Ooh, you didn't like that, did you? Powder Ganger Camp North. Enough of that. Let's try out this modded tribeen laser rifle. Uh, Explodies. Open up, biatch. Anything to kill up in this cut? Here we go. Something. Low fillers. Still not. Just not my style. I haven't used this guy in a while. Not since I left the Capital Wastelands. Can I was it using? 5mm? Yep. 5mm. Peace, love, fight apathy. Something the bomb. Ban the bomb, I think. Billy rules. You suck. Steve was here. Peace, love. Give peace a chance. Peace. Peace. Something the bomb. All war is something. Brett. 
was here, but somebody else was here before. Germain. SMD. Does that mean suck my dick? Hmm. Guess this is the place, Veronica. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. Yeah, it gives me the shits. You password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. <sighs> for Pete's sake. Open Who's Pete? Up. Welcome back, Veronica. Why don't you take that damn helmet off? You're all stupid and muffled. Listen up. I'm in charge of security around here. And I can't say I'm too happy about having an outsider waltzing around. I can't say I care. Since you came in with Veronica, I'm inclined to cut you a little slack. Just behave oh, good for you, because uh, if you didn't, I'd murder everybody in here. And the elder's going to want to talk to you. He's on the second level. Just take a right once you get down there. My office is right here in case you need anything. Just ask for Ramos. <coughs> Looking sharp, Ramos. Behave yourself this time, Veronica. Oh, behave. Hello, outsider. Who are you calling outsider, punk? There, wait here, meet. Hello, Veronica. How goes your mission? It goes. I wanted to talk to you. Veronica, tell me this isn't about... Yes, that time at band camp. But you're gonna hear me out this time. We've been through this. The things I've seen now, other groups succeeding where we fail, it's not too late for us. Yeah, it is. We've outlasted the end of the world. We'll outlast these upstarts. Waiting in a hole for everyone else to die. If we must. Good plan, genius. I see no evidence of that. Nor do I see anyone out there with a solution to our problems. How could you? You're too scared to look. Let's go. We're wasting our time. Mm, let's talk to the old idiot, see what he has to say. Paladin Ramos informed me that Veronica was approaching with an outsider in tow. At first, I didn't know what to think. You seem like you I often don't know what to think. Thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though you'd remain Veronica's responsibility. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? I work for Caps, friend. If the Caps come, I'll help you. Then allow me to explain our situation. This bunker is currently locked down, allowing no entry or exit. With you being one of the few exceptions. In exception yeah, I'm pretty exceptional. Teams are sent out to investigate sites or retrieve materials deemed too important to ignore. Three important materials, you say? And the news of their I'm intrigued. Has not yet been widely spread to avoid undue concern. In order to maintain the peace and adhere to the strictures of the law, <coughs> I need to send someone else to discover what happened to them. The less who are aware of this situation, the better. My brothers and sisters were deeply traumatized by the losses we incurred several years ago. It would be imprudent to worry them unduly without first discovering the facts of the situation. Oh, I see. You're the uh, fascist tyrant type, eh? I'm glad I can count on you. Oh, and one other thing. The patrols each had a holotape detailing their missions that you can use to track them. The shielding of the bunker prevents us from actively tracking them. But their positions should show up on your map once you get to the surface. Should our worst fears become realized, please bring back all three of the holotapes from the patrols. 
Otherwise, bring our brothers home. I've given the order that you be given access to some of the equipment our scouts and patrols have scavenged over the years. I like equipment. You won't be allowed to purchase any prohibited equipment. Like but drugs? Some of what's available Sex will toys? Be useful to you. I'd slap him around, but he stood at my parents' wedding. It'd Plus, still be funny. To make excuses to get me out of my punishment when I'd slept through head scribe Taggart's lectures. Figure I own for that. <sighs> he means well. No, but it does make it easier to forgive him. He's just misguided. It's not too late to change his mind. He's a stubborn old man, but when it comes down to it, he's got our best interests at heart. If he sees some indisputable sign we're on the wrong course, he won't ignore it. I don't know, he seems like a religious fanatic. They're pretty good at ignoring things. That's my question to the Elder. All these years, the Brotherhood has collected weapons technology. And for what? To keep it out of people's hands? That clearly hasn't worked. To defend ourselves? We can't compete with the NCR's numbers or the Legion's. We're fighting a war for a lost cause. If we're going to survive, we have to find a role in society, attract new members. Well, giving out lasers and power armor is pretty attractive. Look at the followers of the Apocalypse. They use their expertise to improve people's lives. They train them to be self-sufficient. Yeah, that's what that I do with the Wasteland Survival Guide. Respect but and gratitude. I do it for caps. Their ideals, draws talent to their cause. They make friends like we make enemies. But they don't know a fraction of what we know. If we took on their role, we could stand up to anyone. We wouldn't have to hide. I don't know. I don't know. We need something that shows the Brotherhood will fail. Or that it can do better a different way. The only thing that gets his attention is technology. Huh. Maybe Father Elijah had the right idea. Our elder before McNamara, he had a nose for recovering lost technology. He'd send scribes out into the desert chasing whatever leads he found. There were a few he only trusted me with. I can think of I'm getting the feeling that this Elijah is the one that I need to find. Far from here, I'd use to access messages from him. If we go there, I can pull up his research on it. I'm with you. Being around here isn't the same anymore. So, you're the outsider that's been given leave to wander around freely. Desperate times call for desperate measures, I guess. Name's Harden. I'm the head paladin of this chapter. And I think we might be able to help each other out. You're not as cute as the last head paladin I knew. But I can tell you this chapter is in trouble. And he's at the center of it. Are you willing to listen to what I have to say? I don't know. Is there going to be an offer of caps at the Why end? should you trust the Elder? I'd recommend listening to both of us. And choosing whom to trust for yourself. So are you willing to listen? As you may have already heard, this entire base is under a state of lockdown. No one goes out except small patrols at night. Most of the chapter has been sealed in here for years. And those few who are outside when the lockdown was initiated are forbidden from returning. Morale has plummeted as time has gone by. And many of our current paladins haven't seen combat outside of training simulations. And all because of the Elder's explicit order that no one be allowed in or out. The only way things will change is if a new Elder is installed. The new Elder? Okay, I'm listening. Veronica's a special case. She handles the procurement of supplies. If we didn't let her and those like her back in, we'd all starve. Well, if the elder that might be for the best. I mean, well, you kind of seem like incompetent chumps. Security, which is why we need to replace him. Of course I have, many times in fact. The Elder has an open door policy and will listen to advice on any subject save this one. He refuses to see that our isolation is slowly weakening us. Aside from being our duty, going out on missions is what kept us strong. And because he fails to see that, he must be replaced. I would. I'm the senior most paladin in the chapter, and have more combat experience than any two others here put together. I'd gladly support another candidate, but no one has the courage to step forward and make the attempt. So it falls to Ah, uh, goody, another power hungry autocrat right trying to mask his intentions. I don't know. I've gone through our records dozens of times looking for a precedent regarding the dismissal of an elder and come up with nothing. The people who are most likely to know how it could be done 
are also some of McNamara's strongest supporters. So they refuse to help me, which is why we're having this conversation. An outsider such as yourself would arouse less suspicion asking questions about such matters. The fact that the Elder has some tasks for you means his faithful won't suspect you, and you have a line open to the man himself. In short, you're in a perfect position to help me. Will you at least think about it? I haven't heard anything about caps yet. If I become elder, the lockdown will be lifted, and we'll once again be able to send patrols out into the wastes. We'll become powerful again. And when that happens, it will be good to have the Brotherhood as an ally. Good enough? Uh, I've had the Brotherhood as an ally before, and it ended up costing me a lot of caps. That'll have to do. I'd recommend going to see Ramos first. I thought it was Ramos. More familiar with our protocols than anyone else here. You could also try to find something relevant in our data store, though last I heard Scribe Ibsen is having a bit of a problem accessing it. And if McNamara should give you any tasks, I'd ask that you kept me abreast of them. Report anything you I like to be me. kept abreast myself, if you know what I'm saying. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hmm. You guys are friendly, clearly. What is this? Veronica brings an outsider into our home? Then has a private audience with the elder. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. The two of you may have the elder fooled, but we know better. Veronica has always twisted the founder's principles to her own ends. We will not stand idly by and allow her to corrupt our elders' thinking. Ooh, tough guys. Sorry about that. Just because I love them doesn't mean some of them aren't assholes. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, all right whole future of New Vegas seems like it's up in the air. Guess I should wait things out before buying a condo in the Ultralux, huh? Probably a good plan. He was dead when I got there. Wait, what? It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. Mm. What do you want to know? <laughs> good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon a time, it was about technology. Controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole, not carrying out our mission. More sexual favors than I can even count. Ooh, that I sounds interesting. Tired from it. No, actually, you're born into it. Oh, well, you got my, my hopes parents, up. Their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. So you're all inbred. Cool. I'm a procurement specialist. Like I said, it's basically grocery shopping, except sometimes the groceries are scavenged parts and arcane technology. I like the that kind of stuff. The Mojave, Father Elijah, usually had me looking for these old memory units. Mm. But he'd never tell me what they were for. Nowadays, I'm usually sent to do business with traders at places like the 188, but sometimes I think it's just to keep me out of everyone's hair. I know sometimes I sound like I don't, I know, but there's something that still rings true to me about our code. There's an honor to it. We're protecting people, even if it's from themselves. It's a good cause. We just lose sight of the big picture sometimes, treat all our practices with the same sacredness. Yeah, we'll just bunk them. Ah, the Codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history, too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm, I wonder. Nah, they'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's axioms. Most likely. No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. Mm, We've had go. people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolation as Yes, seriously. I was there. He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His mind just worked that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. And there were other ways he wanted to push. Other weapons. Ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. Well, gonna need to find him. 
Darn it. I had some spectacular answers coming, too. This better not be about the meaning of life. 42. Yeah, it's not for poker. I've never seen anything quite like it, but I can tell you it looks like it was fabricated before the war and not at a mint. Some kind of tech. I'm going to say mid-2200s. Hold on to it. Might be your lucky chip. Well, when two people really love each other, you really don't know this stuff yet? Oh, you're a funny lady. Sure. He's one of the hotel managers on the Strip. He comes up in the news now and then. Him and the other chairman run the tops. It's one of the nicer hotels. Or so I hear. Elder McNamara wouldn't shell out for a passport for me, so I've actually never been to the Strip. Yes, you have. Why do people get so cheap when they get old? That's a good question. Ooh, do I get a prize if I answer right? <laughs> well, depends what kind of prize you had in mind. Yep, it's your typical city layout. Rich people in a gated community surrounded by extreme poverty. Yeah, good Passing times. The area around the strip <coughs> locals, but he has no interest in it, so he ignores it entirely. It just needs new management. I'd love to see the Brotherhood do it, but since the Codex doesn't say clean up Freeside, no one listens to me. Bunch of sticklers. Yeah. I was told we wouldn't be tested on this. You were told wrong. I'm worried there'll be the death of the Brotherhood. They take what they want. We defend our interests to the death. But there's a handful of us, and tens or hundreds of thousands of them. So it's not going to end well. Last time we clashed, we lost a lot of people. Retreated to our bunker. Now we're afraid to even move around during the day. Yeah, the NCR has been kicking you guys' oh, asses for years. Fancy lad snack cakes, revenge against my enemies, and world peace. In that order. Silliest dress band of raping, slaving marauders you'll see east of California. I'll say that. Where's that touch of old world class? Although, I hear the soldiers mount each other as much as they mount their women, so maybe they did keep a little something from the Empire. Kinky. It's such privilege for the women, though. Figures. So, to answer your question, they're a bunch of hypocritical jerkwats. It's a word. Mm. I like it. I was young and I needed the money. Hmm, well... Tell me more about that. Darn it. Alright, let's uh, get back out there. Now that I know more about the local brotherhood and this Father Elijah fella, this brotherhood is definitely different than the one I've dealt with. I mean, the brotherhood I dealt with may have been insufferable do-gooders, but these ones are just stupid. At least the ones back east were uh, competent insufferable do-gooders. These guys aren't even insufferable do-gooders. They're just incompetent, period. Oh wait, shit, I left meat in there. Do this, then we'll go back and get them. You're not meat. Shit. This um, lame looking shack must be the place. Hmm, drugs. Oh. I'll take that as a sign. Over here. 
Oh, more drugs. You know, this guy looks like he went out fun, anyways. Booze and drugs and a dirty mattress. got here. Okay, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of. The pulse gun. Although, maybe the rangefinder could work too. And it looks like the NCR was onto some miracle farming technology. Electromagnetic weapon from before the Great War. Experimental. It never saw mass production. But they were building it as a countermeasure to power armor, which they feared the Chinese <sighs> were developing. Supposedly a prototype was being housed at Nellis. Imagine what it could do to the Brotherhood. We'd be on equal footing with any idiot with a gun. Hmm, more or less. Supposedly, it's a vegetation enhancer. NCR has a science branch headquartered at McCarran Airport. Guess they found something. Guess somebody wasn't very good at keeping secrets either. We'd never pursue it because it's not a weapon, but self-sufficiency is fundamental to us. If it works, they'd see the value of an alternate course. It's a targeting device for some kind of doomsday weapon based at Helios-1. It was lost sometime after the war. We held Helios-1 for a time. Lost a lot of people defending it. Too many. All for this weapon they never got working. If it turns out to be a dud, it should show how flawed our goals have been. Father Elijah said he thinks a scavenger might have sold it on the strip. Yeah, maybe they'll think twice about engaging the NCR if they know one of those could be floating around. The I'd like, like to use it. Space. He suggests going through filing cabinets um, and computers. <clears> and <throat> if it's an electromagnetic pulse gun, it should not only take out power armor, but should also take out robots. And I hate robots. But before we go after that, let's go uh, pick up dog meat. Alright, well, in the interest of not boring you, my gentle viewers, to tears. I went and picked up dog meat off camera and have continued along to the uh, next part of my mission, which is getting to Nellis Air Force Base. I started at uh, the New Vegas Medical Clinic. It was the closest location I've been to. And uh, Nellis is apparently the home of the boomers. Well, that sounded fun. Um, and according to Yes Man, uh, the boomers have a tendency to fire artillery at anybody who comes near them, so this should be interesting. What does it mean? What are you shooting at back there? I don't even know. Well, here's a shack. Some dude standing in the road. Hi, dude standing in the road. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Muma territory. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Look, you get information, you give it to me. Do you think you could take me on? Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you. I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some, some cash from selling my body. Goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? Oh, lordy, lordy. I've heard of them. What rock have you been living under? They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wandering the air territory here as good as men. Look. I ain't afraid of no explodies. There is a way, and I'll tell you, for a little wager. Hmm. Well, <coughs> you know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. 
If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Well, nothing's gonna kill me, so that's a safe bet. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. Alright. Now, let's give myself a little unfair advantage. Some drugs. Ah, that's the good stuff. Impacts. Here, here, here. Now what? Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Uh, I'm better than you. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. I am. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. Watch your mouth, Savage. Raquel will be here in a second. I'll take this from here. I'm well, hello, pretty lady. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. I oversee the security of the Nellis homeland, from the coordination of its defense to the training and fitness of its population. Well, you certainly look like a fit specimen. Confiscate your weapons? Certainly not. Personal armament is the foundation of social trust and responsibility. Fair enough. As I said, she is our eldest. Mother Pearl has lived at Nellis from the start, and has the wisdom of her age. She said that this day would come, and that any savage to reach our gates should Who are you calling a savage? I mean, it might be a savage in the sheets. I want to find out. Follow close, and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. No, uh, I can't see you through Veronica. <coughs> I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Those howitzers of ours aren't just for entertainment, child. Explosive ordnance is what keeps us savages at a distance. Except you. There's something special about you, child. And Damn right I'm special. Gave you a chance to show it. I've showed it before, but whatever. Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav... Uh, outsider around and about. Yeah, that's better. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. Oh, I've got a big way I can help. Where'd that Raquel get off to? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe, but the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance. Patrolling robots, soldiers, yeah, fucking robots. My younger think our guns can keep out the world, but I think we need to let <coughs> in just a little, or become its victim. Just the tip. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Oh, gee, thanks. You picked a good time to stop by for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Duck Argyle has saying Raquel has crabs. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with yeah. some repair. Whatever. Or you could just I'll just shave afterwards. All you have to do there is listen. Oh, story time? Like help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Yeah, a lot of them do. Yeah, you are an old bag, aren't you? Oh, and you ran a vault suit. And you have a pit boy. Well, you idiots must have come out of a vault. 
All right, so what'd you say? Search around like the desks or filing cabinets or something? Nope, nothing there. Boomer flight suit. Sure. Watch your step, sister. Hmm. All right. There we go. Nice day we're having. Nothing on the desk, apparently. There we go. Authorize a transfer item, codename Circuit Breaker, to the installation known as Vault 34 to be sealed in its armory for safekeeping until the manufacturer can retrieve the prototype for production. Oh, well, looks like we're going vault spelunking, Veronica. But first... claim my goddamn caps from that old man. If he's not there, I'm gonna track him down and kill him. He's here, alright. Fork over the caps, man. Jumping Jesus on a pogo shit. You're the first one to make it through alive. Oh, you put a colorful way with language. Yep. Here are your caps. You drive a hard bargain. Here you go. Have a nice day. Thanks. I'm glad you're still so polite after I blackmailed you. Okay. Well, looks like we're about as close as we're going to get to it anyways, so let's just walk from here. Vegas. There's my home, right there. Right, right up there. But, <clears throat> man can't just sit comfortable in his tower all day. He's gotta, gotta get out and shape the world to his specifications. But one day, one day I'll just be able to relax. When that day comes, I'll be sitting on a mountain of caps, and I'll be the sole power in this region. But, again, I'm not a tyrant. People can do what they want for the most part, as long as they don't interrupt the flow caps. Securitron army under my control, it'll be mostly for for keeping the peace. Mm -hmm. well, that doesn't look healthy. And of course that's where I'm going. I guess I'm entering the cave. It's a weird way to get in. Oh, hi there. Golden Gecko. I used to have a head. <clears throat> Ooh, hello. Dangerously low, I just had it repaired. What? That's a 
bunch of bull stink. Actually, it's probably from getting blown up by those goddamn uh, boomers. You fuckers owe me. Yeah, give me your hide. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Bullets. And them there bullets. Yeah, give me the gun too. Why not? Alright, Veronica, you ever been in a vault before? I grew up in one. Looks like there's friends. Gotcha. Look at you ragged all over the place like an idiot. Well, hello, friend. You are dead. Good loot for me. I better um, take a little Radix. Did I ever actually take that Radix? Veronica's making friends out there. Oh. You weren't using that head, right? hear you fuckers, but I don't know where you are. Now, Veronica seems to be good at finding you. I already searched these ones apparently. Alright, guess I'm going this way. Thanks for the drugs.
Gotcha. There sure are a lot of bullets and random guns laying around in this vault. For the Brotherhood. Where the hell are you, Veronica? Hey, come on. I can't seem to get through that door, so don't worry too much about them. Oh, hello. Wait. Give me that money. For the Brotherhood. Who are you even talking to, you know? You used to have a head. What was that like? Hi. Hi, friend. <clears throat> oh, and you got a buddy behind you. I'm gonna take your legs out. You don't need those, right? No. Oh. Look at this ass hat. Thanks. Oh, broken auto dock. Ooh, I dinged. A lot of rat X and rat away. Cool. Oh, hello, idiot. Yeah, punk. And you're dead. Sorry about that. Nothing personal. Hey, yeah, for the Brotherhood, whatever. You sound like a goddamn fool when you keep saying that shit. Something's going on out here. Oh, hello. What happened in here? Fun, apparently. Uh, sure, I'll check out the Overseer's journal fragment.
desk. Nothing over here. All right, what do we got here? Five out of twelve. So it's probably a T I O N word, maybe an A T I O N word. That would seemingly fit. Yay! Nice and easy. It's the way I like it. There we go. Fourth caps. You're stuck in there good and proper, aren't you? All right, well, let's see what's in here. Sounds like friends. Oh, hi. One of my bullets seemed to go up in the air. That was kind of weird. Weird words up in here. Well, it's not an ING word. How about an ION word? Could be an ION word. So, what else do we get for those? Infiltration, purification, appreciation, conversation. And construction. So it doesn't really help me a whole lot. Well, 8 out of 12 on construction, which makes me think it's probably conversation. 1, 2, 3, 4, say. Yeah, that's 8. Still. Let's see if we can get me some. Uh, some free passes. There we go. Yay! Hello, friend. Oh, look at all your glowing head bits all over the place.
Well, far be it for me to pass up a chance to kill an overseer. Especially a ghoul overseer. This jack bag. Oh, hello, friend. You didn't need that head, right? You really need to stop uh, repeating your battle charges. Gotta mix it up a little bit. Definitely hear more friends. So, there you are. Shoot dog meat. I want to shoot this asshole. Finish him. There we go. Seriously, Veronica, you need some new, uh, some new things to shout. Want, we could practice in bed. It's a good place to shout things. Oh, hi. No, oh, he's got a friend. Sick of meat. Fun. Glad I wasn't in the room for that. Don't mind if I do. Alright. Seem to have exhausted all the options except for one. Gotcha. The hell is that? It's a giant teddy bear. Well, Mr. Overseer. Like I've done some past overseers. Take you out bit by bit. There you go. You're dead. Now, what is this? Apparently, something for Willow.
Okay, now that I've taken care of that. That looks like a bunch of nonsense. Yeah, open up the armory. Let's go. <clears throat> Surely that is where the good stuff is. That's what we're what where we're looking the uh, where what we're looking for is. But hopefully it's got some other loot in it too. Saleable sort of items. Hello, friend. Your face is all bloody. Oh, there's someone right behind me, isn't there? Gotcha. Hello, shit for brains. Oh dear, you're a tough one. You guys can take care of him for me. Come on, let me through. Give me that loot. I'm having that. Gotcha. Yep. Good job, Ronnie. Right. Sure, I'll take some sarsaparillas. Toolbox. Ooh, plastic explosives. Neat. Yes, please. Hmm. Plastic explosives and a detonator. Yeah, this could be fun. This is loaded for bear. I have hit the mother load.
That's what I came for. Figured it had more buttons and dials and stuff, you know? Oh well. It's still the electronic equivalent of a disease for the war. Hey. Don't joke about those kind of diseases, alright? Alright, oh, well, let's look at this hall we got. Bunch of really crappy conditioned pistols, but we can repair them all together and make a couple good ones. Same thing with these SMGs. Rifle, eh? It's like a... I don't know. Interesting. I never did try this thing out. I have to give that a try at some point. What else do we get? Hey, what's different about this? Doesn't seem to be different in any noticeable way from regular shish kebab. Couple grenade launchers, neat. Combat armor to repair it, but I can't repair the combat armor with it. Alright. <clears throat> well, all in all, a nice little haul. Let's get gone. Still stuck in there, huh? Well, better for me that way. Just want to get out of here. There we go. Oh, hello. Fuck you. Yeah. Golden Gecko Egg. Toast. So yeah, I can't really tell what's different about this shish kebab, but whatever. Let's uh, switch to something a little more practical. Actually, let's try out some of these different weapons we got. Try out that All-American. I've, 
come for your salad dressing, Hidden Valley. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why there's a fork and some vault jumpsuits and a hollowed out rock, but, you know, whatever. This is the gun for killing commies. likes dogs. We're wrong. I hope. I brought you a present. We've got a gun that disables power armor. One of these could defeat the whole brotherhood. Yeah. We have to stop limiting our focus to military technology. It won't save us. That could be the only one of its kind. That's not the point. Technology won't win our wars. We need numbers, new recruits. What does the Codex say? A bunch of close-minded bullshit. Yeah. We do not help them or let them in. But... We keep knowledge they must never have. Give it a chance. For me. I can't stay here and watch us waste away. I'm sorry. We'll die out. I know. Ah, uh, you're an idiot. I can't listen to this anymore. He wouldn't listen. The truth was right there staring him in the face. How could he not listen? Told you. Religious fanatic. I see that now. I thought I knew him better than that, but it was like talking to a stranger. How can I help them when they won't accept it? Huh. Well, that's imaginative. Mm, that's how I do things. I couldn't get one of their most reasonable ways to accept a rational argument. I don't see them coming out in droves to support my coup. And that's really not what the Brotherhood needs right now, anyway. They're hanging by a thread. It wouldn't matter. The Elder has final say. The hell of it is he's one of our most progressive members. If I can't get him to agree, it's hopeless. Oh, it's hopeless. I... I don't know if I can stay. Maybe it'd be better for everyone if I left. Spent my life... somewhere else. Work with the followers of the Apocalypse, maybe. Put my knowledge to some good use. Or I can stay here with the people I care about and do... whatever I can. Until it comes to a slow or sudden end. Okay, so take the Brotherhood, replace their knowledge of superweapons with half as much knowledge of medicine and farming, sprinkle in a little compassion for people outside their group and healthy disrespect for authority, and voila, hmm. followers. I like disrespect for authority. But now that I think about it, it really sounds like it could be a good fit, doesn't it? Perhaps. There's no getting around that, is there? What would my life be like here, knowing what's to come? They're not gonna like this. Probably pretty shitty. We're given a chance when we're young to choose whether to stay. If we do, it's supposed to be for life. But they haven't left me any choice. Nope. It's this the Brotherhood's about as useful as fucking tits on a rat scorpion. Losing battles. I guess it's settled then. Let's get going. I'd like to get my mind off all this. And some fresh air would do me some good. Right about now. Groovy. Let's hit the road. Come on, meat.
these jackals. Are you gonna say something, or are you just gonna stand there looking stupid? We heard Baraka talking with the elder. We won't stand for this. Yeah, here, have a, have some noble-sounding bullshit or something. Hmm. She'd be doing a greater service by carrying out her duties and not trying to undermine the elder's authority. This had better be the last time her loyalty falters. You've been warned. Ooh, I'm so scared. Well, if there was any question of whether I should leave, I guess there is my answer. Indeed. Sure. I want to establish a connection with the followers first, but as far as I know, drifting is part of the job description. Yeah, I think if I stayed, I'd end up causing trouble. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Yeah, causing Especially trouble's for fun. Me and for them. I think that'd be best. There's a follower's outpost up near one of my old scavenging grounds. Used to do some trading with a doctor there. If I work out of there, I'll still be able to keep tabs on Hidden Valley if I needed to. I know that route like the back of my hand. If it's alright, I'd like well, to... Well, do you really know the back of your hand? People, see if I can be of any use. Mm, alright, I suppose. Let's head for the Grab and Gulp, or whatever the fuck it's called. for this here tower. Followers outpost. Oh, hello followers. What, what can the followers of the Apocalypse do for you today? Possibly, but I'd be the wrong person to ask. You'll... He should be back tomorrow. This is just a site for local followers to pick up assignments and check in. So most of the time we're just taking care of logistics and coordinating with other checkpoints over the radio. I see. The Brotherhood. Well, this is unusual, I must say, but very welcome. There's certainly a lot we could learn from your technological expertise. Dr. Schiller usually handles placement and he won't be back until tomorrow. If you could come back then, we can see about your assignment. Alright. Let's see, what should we do in the meantime? Let's head to the trading post, try to unload some of this crap. Still got guns and ammo if you need them. I'm more interested in your caps, but I didn't want to tell your life story. Okay, let's see here. Give me all your money. That's all I want from you. You're not attractive enough for me to want your poontang. Just sell. Oh, yeah, I did want to sell that anyways. All right, time to buy stuff. I think I already got those on. I should double check. Uh, already got that. Well, yeah, we'll try that. I don't know if I can put that on the Gobi thing, but uh, we'll give it a damn try. And I 
I guess that's all I have to sell. Maybe. Oh wait, no. I should have um, that combat armor. There we go. Alright. Thanks for the caps, lady. Oh, I haven't put anything on yet. Alright. The Gobi campaign scope rifle we cannot mod apparently. That's unfortunate. Because I do need. Well, I guess this kind of will now function as a silenced. Call that suppressed. I guess with a monster gun like this, it's about as good as you're going to get. Alright. <clears throat> uh, moving on. Take a little rat away. And another. There we go. Alright. Let's uh, sleep for 24 hours, and then um, go look for this doctor person. Dr. Schiller or something? I don't know. talking. Incendiary, armor piercing, explosive. Let's try armor piercing. Doesn't look good. Sharing knowledge with an outside organization. I knew Veronica couldn't be trusted. We tracked your movements a long way, but it was worth the capture in the act. Passing brotherhood secrets to outsiders is the lowest form of treason. What have you got to say for yourself? Treason is fun? No. I don't wear it on. No, I bet you do. In the name of the Elder, I hereby sentence you to death. See about that. Gonna try. Oh, yeah, you don't like that, do ya? One down. Oh, dear. Goss rifles hurt. Where's the one with the Goss rifle? Time to die, friend. What's that? Uh, nothing. God, I did this. This was my fault. Why didn't I see this coming? Of course they tracked me. Of course they'd assume the worst. Sure, I left them, but that didn't mean I'd ever be free of them. I should have known I was beaten before I began. I just... I had to try, you know? I guess. No. I don't, do I? If I did, none of this would have happened. I should have left a long time ago. Cut my losses before it came to this. I never stood a chance. Probably not. But, uh, on the plus side, they've got a bunch of loot we can take.
That was the one who did the talking, I think. <coughs> yeah, you see, you were that ugly. Ooh, T-51B. That's the good stuff. You were a lady, huh? Thanks for the pencils. You guys are pretty savage, huh? You just came in and killed a bunch of doctors. It's uh, not at all like the Brotherhood I knew back east. Well, I'd say that was a fairly profitable day for us. I think um, I think we should probably head back to our house. But first, we'll do a little shopping. Sir or I'm a sir. Thanks for asking. Get one of those. Don't need those. Uh, I don't think I have that yet, so we got that now. No. Laser rifle beam splitter. Light MG. Light machine gun. No. No, 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 no. Okay, none of that. Uh, any weapons I need? Probably not. I can pick up that fat man at some point. But not today. Some ammo though. Take that, take that, take that, take that, take that. Those, that, 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 that. And that's it. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, let's head back to the house. And me and Veronica can go over uh, Father Elijah's records some more in more detail and 
hopefully suss out where he is. Or at least get a lead on where he is and start looking somewhere. He's the guy that I need to find. Hey, Securitron, look at me when I'm approaching you. A2, Victor. Where to, partner? What do you think? Dummy. Where's my Lady Willow at? I've got a present for her. Where's Arcade? Oh, here you are, Willow, right in my room. I guess it is our room. Hey, baby. Thank you. How many do you have for me? Uh, I don't know. You're welcome. What is it? <gasps> That's amazing! Thank you so much! It was fairly amazing to find a giant stuffed panda in a creepy zombie overseer vault. Alright, well, that's, uh, oh wait, what have I done? Hate Skako, blah blah blah. Uh, okay. Well, interesting. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> as I was about to say before I was rudely interrupted by the game, that is going to wrap it up for episode 20, the big 2-0 of the misadventures of Solomon in the two wastelands. So, I will see all of you lovely internet people next time. Bye now.